Welcome to today's edition of Layoff and Employment News by Employment Boost. Today's date is Tuesday, June 6, 2023. If you're an individual affected by a layoff or if you're a company facing a reduction in force, click the link above now or in the description box below for more information about our firm's outplacement support services and how we can help you as an individual land on your feet faster and get into a new job as quickly as possible or as an organization, how we can smooth the layoff process and assist with your reduction in force. Now on to today's headlines. The Disney layoffs are continuing to impact all elements of the organization, and further layoffs are coming to ESPN by the end of June. So far, most layoffs at ESPN have affected producers, sales, marketing, and administrative personnel, not on-air talent. But that will be changing soon, per Andrew Marchand of the New York Post, who cites that ESPN's model of a small group of on-air talent making huge money makes them ripe for layoffs if they're underperforming. He specifically mentioned Susie Colbert and Steve Young of the Monday Night Football team as being examples of unaired talent who might be impacted in the coming weeks. The Australian-based social media startup Linktree announced a second round of layoffs today, laying off 60 employees or 27% of their global workforce. This is more of an organizational restructure than a true cost-cutting move, as the application now has by far its biggest audience in the United States, and the company is trying to shift more of its employees from Australia and New Zealand to the U.S., the company says it's getting 40,000 new signups daily, so they probably aren't going anywhere, but it will be a lean organization for now. Finally, Seattle based real estate startup Fly Homes, which helps home buyers secure purchases with all cash offers, has made a round of layoffs of unknown size. This is their third layoff in the past year, and their company has shrunk from 700 employees in July of 2022 to less than 470 now. Fly Homes released an email statement citing the challenging real estate market conditions as the primary driver for the layoffs as the company seeks to gain profitability.